And we begin with Botswana, the Sego Chombo. And the Sego, after completing her degree in law, the Sego is currently practicing as an attorney at the High Courts of Botswana and has ambitions of opening her own law firm. So give a warm welcome to Botswana. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good morning. It's such an honor to be seated at this table. And today I'm looking forward to sharing my few legal nuggets, or wisdom nuggets rather, on sustainable development goals. You know, poverty really breaks my heart. But what breaks my heart even more is generational poverty in the most rural communities. Communities that aren't able to see beyond their living conditions because that's all they know. That's all that forefathers have known. See, I have met these communities and I work with them on a daily basis. And I'm of the opinion that it's going to take numerous lifetimes before these communities get to experience financial freedom. And as disheartening as that fact may sound, it has made me think that there is a need to mitigate the living conditions of poverty-stricken communities by helping them and tackling other developmental opportunities over and above economic empowerment. And I'm very proud that My Beauty with a Purpose, the Genesis Project, has a formula, has found a formula that creates sustainable development for economically disadvantaged communities while taking into account their limited financial means. We run a developmental program that equips parents with the necessary skills and behavioral attributes of how to create a conducive environment for the economic, physical, social, mental and cognitive development of their children. And we do this because we know that it applies to five sustainable developmental goals. That is quality education, health care for all, ending hunger, ending poverty, as well as implementing goals and strengthening global partnerships. We have intimate conversations with parent, parents in economically disadvantaged communities where we talk about issues such as nutrition in order to end hunger and deaths caused by malnutrition in alignment with sustainable development goal number two. We also have conversations about creating a healthy home space in order to ensure that we reduce deaths and we reduce preventable infections in alignment with sustainable development goal number three. And while taking into consideration the illiteracy of these communities, we teach these parents how to nurture their children's education in order to promote sustainable education. And this is in alignment with sustainable goal development number four. And because we are so passionate, and at the Genesis Project, we're very passionate about sustainability, we work with communities and with stakeholders in the community in order to implement this project. We also get funding from national and international organizations such as Stambik Bank Botswana and Koemagao Copper Mine in order to align ourselves with sustainable development goal number 17 in order to strengthen implementation and our partnerships. I truly believe that teaching these communities about day-to-day -day and practical skills, behavioral attributes that they can practice on a normal day is the key to end poverty and to strengthen, to fulfill, to pursue, to achieve sustainable development goals at grassroot level. And I think that this lesson is the bridging gap that these communities really need in order to have justice against poverty. Thank you. Thank you. 